Hey guys, this is Inquisitive Mouse, and today we're going to be installing Windows 95 in a virtual machine. To start off, we're going to create a new virtual machine. I'm going to call mine Windows 95 Video. Windows 95 Touch Video. And it's not automatically going to do this unless you have Windows 95 in the name. So if you don't have Windows 95 in the name of your virtual machine, make sure to select under Type, Microsoft Windows, and Version, Windows 95, which is right here above Windows 3.1 in the list. Next. And now we're going to select the amount of RAM. I'm just going to leave it at 64 for this tutorial. And now we're going to create our hard disk. I'm going to make it a VHD, a virtual hard disk, because this can be edited more easily with external programs. Now we are going to create the hard drive. I'm going to make it dynamically allocated. This is going to be faster to create, but it will be slower to access than a fixed size disk. So if you plan to use your virtual machine for serious things, then I would recommend selecting fixed size. It will take longer to create though, remember that. If I'm just gonna select dynamically allocated to make this tutorial faster. And now I think two gigs is gonna be enough because we're not gonna be doing much with this. If you do need to do serious stuff with your machine, like play old games, then I would I would make the hard drive bigger. So let's start it. Now, right now, it doesn't have anything installed. We're not going to select a startup disk because that doesn't let us select a floppy image, which is what we're going to be inserting in just a moment. So first, we have to install DOS because if we don't install DOS, then Windows 95 won't be able to create temporary folders. So, let's go ahead and install it. Configure the unallocated space, press enter. And it's formatting the drive. This is really all we care about. We don't need MS-DOS installed for this tutorial, but it does need to be formatted. And this is probably the easiest way to do it. Now we're gonna select the second disk. And now the third disk. And now we remove the disk. And now it's installed. But DOS is what not what we need for this tutorial. So we are going to select this um MS-DOS boot disk because it is quite hard to get regular MS-DOS to read ISO files and we have an ISO file for Windows 95 but it's not bootable and as you can see it is loading up the CD-ROM driver right there and right now we are going to switch over to the R drive and now as you can see Oh, well, we have to, of course, we have to insert it first. So now, as you can see, here are all the files. So, let's run the set, let's run setup by just typing setup. And it's going to perform a routine check on our system. And here we go. Welcome to Windows 95 setup. So, here's the license agreement. We're going to accept it. It's collecting information. We're going to install it to see Windows. A typical installation is fine. Now, I have a key here. It's 24796 OEM 00147360 and 66386. If you need this key, you can get it from winworldpc.com or I might provide a download in the description. So, I'm just going to say name inquisitive mouse company 
I don't really have a company, so I'm just gonna say YouTube. Now you can select these, but it it will uh, it caused errors for me. You can check them if you want. And now it is uh, checking to see what kind of hardware I have in the computer. Now, I will probably provide a download link for all of the files I used in the description, as well as a download link for the latest virtual box that I'm using to install this. I mean, you can use VMware or Virtual PC, but my virtual machine program of choice is VirtualBox. Now, if you look down here, you can see that the act hard drive activity light is going. It is almost done checking to see it checking to see what kind of hardware is in the computer. Once it's done with this, it will ask us whether we should install the most common components or not. So we're just gonna install the most common components. We are not gonna create a startup disk for this video. You can if you want. I mean it's not really useful in a virtual machine. I guess if you had a an uh, old computer a real computer I might do that and a floppy disk so right now it's copying files as you can see the slideshow is going way faster than it would on uh, hardware on regular hardware for this time you can hardly read it but it's not important so it is almost done all right so now we have to remove the boot disk for MS DOS, and it's not going to work yet. There's a setting that we have to change. As you can see, it is giving us an error. While initializing device o iOS Windows protection error, you need to restart your computer. So what we are going to do is we are going to first power off the machine. And now, go to the settings over here, go under system, processor, and now we want to slide the execution cap slider all the way down to 20%. You can put it at 10% if you want, but that is going to be a little slow. And then also go over to, into the acceleration tab and uncheck enable VTX slash AMDV. And now we can press OK and restart the machine. And you should see it finishes setting up. Just wait a second for it to start. And since it didn't start properly last time, um, it wants us to boot up to safe mode, but of course nothing is wrong. And as you can see, here we are. Windows 95 is now setting up any your hardware and any plug or, and play devices you may have. So, now we have to provide computer and work group names. I'm just going to call my computer Windows 95. And I'm going to make the work group YouTube. Just, I mean, heck, it doesn't matter. So as you can see, it's telling us it can't find these files. It's OK. We can just skip them. It doesn't make that much of a difference. I mean, you won't get network functionality, but that's pretty much it. All of these other, um, I guess it can't find these files, so we're just going to go ahead and skip. Actually, we can uh, we can press cancel here, and then here let's let's uh, go ahead and go full screen, and then we can go down here and view scale factor, and then set it to 200%. And as you can see, it's a lot easier to see what's going on right now. So it is currently uh, finishing setting up and then it should tell us that it is uh, done so here we go it's setting up the control panel the programs on the start menu 
There we go. And now it's going to set up Windows Help, MS-DOS program settings, and the time zone. I am in uh, Eastern Eastern time here, so hit apply and OK. And it wants us to set up the printer. I mean, we have a printer, but I'm not planning to print anything on this virtual machine. So, and it doesn't have network connectivity. All right, as you can see, it's giving us some errors about these files that we didn't install, but that's it. Oh, and there are going to be a few DLLRs once the machine starts up, but after that, everything is normal. Now, it's going to take a little bit, and then it should start up. There we go. Now we have to wait. All right, as you can see, Network and Microsoft Network are not available. I'm sure if you if you really wanted to, you could reinstall all of this, um, all of these files. If you r really wanted to do something serious with this machine, but I'm just using this machine for the um, to show you how to. Um, set up Windows 95, so. Oh. Uh, there we go. So. Welcome to Windows 95. There we go. Alright, let's close that. And as you can see, this is a clean install of Windows 95. Let's go to the programs. Accessories and notepad. This is Windows 95, and as you can see, everything works perfectly except for the sound and the network. Because if we click on the internet here, get connected, everything seems to be working perfectly, but it's not. It says Windows will now install files and drivers that you need to access the internet. But it's going to give us the same errors that it gave us while we were. Uh, it, trying to set up Windows 95 so we're just gonna press cancel as you can see it says unable to install Windows 95 files on your computer you can just click OK and it says the internet connection wizard could not configure a computer okay and now documents well there's just a readme settings okay let's go back to the programs and here is MS DOS prompt it's pretty much the uh, ancestor of command prompt which is, it's actually uh, based off of the MS-DOS. Um, I think it's actually based off of the MS-DOS installation that we made earlier. So if we type edit, here we go. There's edit. Everything works just like it would in regular DOS. Edit does not work in modern Windows. It's a little bit different in this older version. So, and uh, as, as you might imagine, MSN is pretty useless. Let's go to the control panel. What's in here? Add remove programs, add new hardware, date, time, display, mouse, modems, blah, blah, blah. That's not very interesting. Let's go to the properties for the desktop. Now, let's look at the iconic 3D maze screensaver. This was only found in Windows 95, I think, and uh, can't be found on any other version. I th that's what I remember. All right, let's go ahead and take a look. Gotta wait a second while it loads up the screensaver. Uh, it's, it's not doing anything. Nothing is responding right now. Okay, let's just restart the machine. Starting, and it says that Windows was not properly shut down. That's true. And we're going to skip this because 
I don't care about scan disk. It's not necessary because this is a virtual machine and yeah, there is a very unlikely that anything will go wrong with it. Something would have to go wrong with your actual machine's hard drive or in my case an SSD. All right, there we go. And we're back in Windows. As you can see, it's giving us these DLLRs. Hmm. Sorry, I'm not actually, sorry, I'm not actually gonna um, try out any games in this tutorial. I mean, from now on, it's pretty self-explanatory. You can do whatever the heck you want with Windows 95. Now that you've got it installed, you can even destroy it. If that's your thing. Let's see if the... Oops. <laughs> Here, let's let's draw something. I actually have a touch screen, so maybe I can try that. Uh huh. That is totally not working. Uh huh. All right. Enough awful drawing. Oh, hold on. Let me just draw a quick stick man. <laughs> Uh, this is, this is totally, this is, this is, uh, great right here. Great drawing. No, I don't want to save the changes. Alright. So, there you go. As you can see, we have Windows 95. So, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.